How's it going? Everybody, Dan Lusinski, Dark Angel Cutlery. Hold on. All right, that's better. Um, hey, everybody. Dan Lusinski, Dark Angel Cutlery. And a uh, little shameless plug for our friends at the NRA. Uh, today, I am working in the shop on the 2x72. I have a nice uh, uh, VSM ceramics uh, 60 grit belt here, super sharp, right out the box. And I've got some nice mask print going because I'm being safe. But some nice dirty hands because we're getting down and dirty. And if you've been watching my Facebook videos, last time we were forging a carving knife from Alabama Damascus. And it was a beautiful, beautiful piece of Dama ladder Damascus that we forged out. And uh, I had to do it in three videos because I almost melted down my phone because it was so hot in the forge. But um, we've got a really nice, I think this is about a... Uh, 12 and a half inch blade or so, give or take. And we've got a, uh, a full tang design and we're just cleaning up forge scale here. You can see our logo there at my pinky. And uh, I've got my holes drilled. Now this was, uh, this was quenched and this was tempered. And uh, so I've been kind of being mindful of my heat. I uh, had to heat up the, uh, the handle portion a little bit uh, at the, I think this uh, second pin to uh, get my drill holes through. But that was good because I had a little bit of a bend I had to work out. And as you can see, it's nice and straight. I've got a beautiful straight piece and uh, it's tempered very beautifully. I mean, this is like spring steel. And for a carving knife out of Damascus to get that spring state, at least for me, it's really good. So I was over here on the drill. I drilled out two one quarter inch pins and I channeled the strength of the Duke himself. And uh, that was for my buddy Roy. And uh, so the Duke sits here with me and he helps me drill when I'm struggling with drill holes. It gives me the strength. You can see I had to restart that, that one quarter inch pin there because the steel was just that hard. Yeah, that's good to be at a spring state and have hard ass steel. So thank you, uh, Lacey Smith at Alabama Damascus for making kick ass steel. Now Lacey uses three different types of steel in his Damascus and that's kind of rare because a lot of the run of the mill Damascus is 15 and 20 by like uh, 1085 or whatever. Now I'm pretty sure Lacey uses uh, 1084, I'm sorry. Lacey uses the 1084 and then he uses the 15N20, but he also uses um, N200, I believe, which is also a high nickel steel. So we've got a lot of really uh, vibrant uh, shine to this baby once it's been etched. So we'll have really good rich darks from the high carbon, but then those nickel steels will give us a, a, a variance of, uh, of contrast. It'll look really good. Um, I do have uh, two other, three other blades here I'm working on. One was a, uh, a pirate saber, and the other two, uh, that, that pirate saber is here. And then these two are matching wakazashis, and those wakazashis are going to be badass. Those are in 1075. The saber is in 1080. So, and then this bad boy, Alabama Damascus. So we can't really peak the Damascus right now because we've got some 60 grit uh, grind on it. But uh, maybe you can see a little bit of peak from the Damascus and in, in some of the areas where there's still scale. So what I'm doing now is working on the grinder. I've got my, my bucket of water that I probably need to refill. It's looking pretty nasty, but I'm going to clean that out, fill it back up, and I'm going to keep going at the, uh, the 60 grit belt. The ceramics keep the steel cool because ceramic cuts really fast without getting really hot, especially if you've got a fresh clean belt. And uh, I dunk this baby in the water and I really try to control my temperature because like I said, it's been tempered. I don't want to F with my temper. so. Don't F with my temper. If you know me, you know what I mean. So my steel is tempered good. And uh, what else? I think that's it. I'm going to put a uh, nice little copper bolster. And uh, we're going to put some copper pins. And uh, yeah, she's going to be a beauty. It does have the, uh, the Dark Angel Cutlery logo stamped in there. I don't know how well that's going to be able to pop. Um, it's right about there. So I don't know if you can see it. But uh, just below those two bolster holes, there is a uh, stamp there. So it's not super bright yet, but once we surface this down, those uh, depressed areas of the logo will reveal. If it's not a super strong logo, maybe I'll put a bigger pin in the bottom and use one of my custom pins. That way it has my maker's mark on there. And uh, it's going to be a really exciting uh, carving knife. This was a warm-up for one that's going to be done out of uh, this big, yeah, big, beautiful bar of steel. This is uh, Hitachi white paper. 
uh, 16 layer. It's uh, and that's backwards. So, but it says 16 layer sand my white paper core Hitachi. Beautiful stuff. Um, I love working with the steel. I work with it a lot. Um, I've started uh, doing uh, dual temper on this uh, because the cladded steel uh, tempers or quenches at a different. Um, a different rate from the core, and uh, white paper is a very fine core. So I'm going to take uh, uh, Wayne Goddard's method of goop quenching, and I'm going to be using some uh, some bacon grease to do a quench, and uh, in uh, in a in a pan, a cooking pan. Now, if you don't know who Wayne Goddard is, you better freaking educate yourself because he's a legend in knife making. He actually wrote for Blade Magazine for a lot of years. He had a column. Uh, he wrote some great stuff, and he taught. Bladesmiths through his uh, twice revised uh, $50 knife shop, uh, which was a, a lot of direction for me getting started. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, Mr. Michael, we're uh, perfecting the carving knife for you. Um, I'm going to let you decide which one you got. We've got the Alabama Damascus or we got the Hitachi white paper steel. Uh, you paid for the white paper steel. The Damascus is just a little step up if you want it. Uh, maybe everybody else who's uh, watching this uh, YouTube video can make a vote and uh, and decide, help Michael decide which is going to be the better steel. Uh, we'll reveal both carving knives in another video once they're done. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and happiness. Dark Angel Cutlery. I'm out.